killing of three other detained youth protesters. The Iranian resistance offers its condolences for the martyrdom of Kyanush Sandi, Saru Ghahramani, and Muhammad Nasidi, who were arrested during the uprising of the Iranian people, to their families, friends, companions, and all rising people of Iran, and urges the international community to take immediate action to confront the anti-human crimes of the clerical regime. The Iranian resistance calls on the public, especially the youth, to protest against the crimes of the clerical regime, especially in prisons, and to support the families of martyrs and prisoners, and calls on the High Commissioner for Human Rights to set up a fact-finding delegation to investigate the situation of prisons and political prisoners, especially those arrested during the recent uprising, and to provide conditions for their unconditional release. Strike at Iran's main sugarcane factory The workers' union of Haftapi Sugarcane Company announced that workers of the unit have staged a strike on Monday, December 25th in protest against wage arrears and the company's failure to pay five months' unpaid salary. One of the Haftapi Sugarcane workers said the number of striking workers were more than 1,000 people. Jabir Iran is a major threat in its role in Lebanon, Syria, and Yemen. Saudi Foreign Minister Adel al-Jabir said on Tuesday that Iran is the biggest source of danger in the region because of its role in Lebanon, Yemen, and Syria. On the ongoing conflict in Yemen, Jabir said that Saudi Arabia is working to prevent the fall of Yemen in the hands of Iran and Hezbollah, pointing out that Riyadh has received more than a million Yemeni refugees since the crisis first began. Saudi Arabia intercepts Houthi ballistic missile targeting Jazan. Saudi Arabia has said that its forces intercepted and destroyed a ballistic missile fired by Houthi militias targeting the southern province of Jazan on Tuesday. The attack on Tuesday comes just days after UN experts said Iran violated a UN arms embargo by directly or indirectly providing missiles and drones to the Houthis in Yemen. Iran 3,000 young women have run away in six months since March. 3,000 young women and girls have run away from home in Iran during the period spanning between March and September 2017. In an interview with the state-run Tasni News Agency, the head of the Social Emergency of the Welfare Organization, Hossein Asad Beghi, said, Compared to the previous year, the number of runaway girls has increased in the first six months of the Persian year. According to the welfare organization, verbal abuse, humiliation, and domestic violence are some of the major reasons girls run away from home. Iran Mother arrested instead of her son Iranian security forces have taken a woman hostage until her son, a student activist, turns himself in. On Monday, January 15, 2018, security forces raided the residence of Omid Akhdami, a student activist at the University of Tabriz, a poet and a children's rights activist. They took his mother, Akram Imam Polizadeh, to room 37 of Tabriz's prison and said they would keep her in detention until her son reports in to the intelligence department. Omid Akhdami is presently in Turkey. His mother suffers from heart complications. <laughs>